Greetings and welcome to SmartWatchSticks.com. It's been a tough year for Android watches. Not many new ones on the market. However, we have a few. And we're going to show you those at the end of this video. What's the video? Well, it's the buyer's guide, of course, to Android watches. And since most all of them are from the last couple of years, but they're all different varieties, we're going to replay what we did a year ago with a few additions. And we'll let you know what's available available currently on the market. In the meantime, we have bumped up to Android 11 on some of the watches, and we've got some nice-looking square-designed watches coming out. Very few pickings, but you'll see them at the end. Let's get started. This is not Apple. This isn't Samsung or Fitbit either. These are really unique. Every Android watch can accept Android apps, just like in your Android phone. So a few things to break down for you. If you have an iPhone, stick with the Apple Watch. This is going to be a little challenging to marry the two together, but uh, you really don't even need to pair it with a phone when it's an Android device because you can load apps on it just like you do on your Android phone. They have cellular connection. They have Wi-Fi connection. They can uh, do all kinds of things just like your phone does. So think about it. But if you're an iOS person, you're best with an Apple Watch. Now, if you are looking for a watch that you can wear that will tether to your phone so you can make phone calls, it's called Bluetooth tethering, none of these Android watches will do it. I don't know why. You can pick up a $30 inexpensive uh, watch that you can wear and you know make and receive phone calls from the watch through your phone, but you have to have your phone tethered with Bluetooth. But you can't do it with these. What these do is accept a SIM card in the back and uh, or on the side. And when you put the SIM card in, it gives it its own phone number. And it literally is a phone. So we call these Android smartwatch phones because they're really phones. If you don't need to make and receive phone calls, forget about all that. And let's start at the beginning. These are the links you're going to need to get yourself around. We'll have them at the end of the video. Plus, these links are actually in the show notes that you can click on them. SmartWatchTicks.com. That's us. Takes you right in here. And you can get anywhere else you want to just with that link. If you're looking to buy an Android smartwatch, or any smartwatch actually, our partnership with Banggood brings us all kinds of uh, good watches at deep discounts. Go to bit.ly bit.ly slash SWT Banggood, Smartwatch Ticks Banggood. And finally, these are the actual playlists of all of the different Android watches that have been reviewed here that you're about to see in detail, separated by the Android version. We're only covering Android 9 and 10 because that's what's out for 2020 to 2021, but the others are there too. Third first thing you really need to decide is are you a round or square kind of guy or gal? If you like square, and there's some good reasons in an Android device that you want square or rectangular, um, then these are some of them that you can find. There's extra large ones. There's a uh, kind of the apple size and shape one. Um, there's a couple of more older, older ones, but not many. Square is not typically in. Round now, you've got this humongous round one here, and then the other ones are coming in at about this size, and then you got this squirrely kind of thing that's got some cameras, and it'll actually lift and rotate. <laughs> yeah, um, it's kind of in a class of its own, but about the same size screen. So you have two screen sizes here for round you have these sizes for the square now why the square is better overall for using for an android watch has to do with the fact that it's round and when you like on your phone bring up an app um, it's either gonna fit in here and the corners are gonna be cut off right and you can't get to the menu items in the corners or you have to do a special thing that you can do by pushing and holding a button and change square screen to round screen, uh, which will make Android apps show up inside a little square here, but it makes them small. And of course, in one of these, they're full size already. So if you're looking for a square Android watch, we've got a couple of 
uh, styles, I'll call them styles, that are made by different companies. Lympho happens to be making this one, the LEMT, but there's the exact same watch by a couple of other companies. When you put it on, it's going to look like this. It doesn't actually look as huge as it does off because of the way it lies along your wrist. And of course, you have apps and everything in here. You have stock apps. You can put in your own apps, Google Play Store, Google Maps, uh, you've got voice recorders. You can even load up Duo and do video conferencing with the front-facing camera. So it really is like a phone. We've got full reviews on each of these. If you look in the show notes, I'll have links that you can go over. Uh, the class of the LEMT, we'll call it, this larger rectangular Android watch. And check out each of the reviews and of course in the show notes below the reviews are buying links with all of these and you can use that link to head over and pick any of these up at the best price that you can find i'm always shopping for good coupons for you guys and it'll help us out here at the channel too if you use our links for for picking up your purchase okay this one is similar but different um it's about the same size. It's got its own unique holster. Not even going to call it a band. Both of these are non-removable. But this puppy, you can press a button and take it out. And it's actually a little phone module. Okay. This one we're looking at is called the Tickris Max S. This is known as also as the Tickris Max. Okay. And this one, uh, like you see, is a little phone module that you could use and slip in your pocket or wear on your wrist it's got all the other stuff um, the fitness things are going on in here heart rate step count you've got all your apps over here including the google play store and everything we've seen before a lot of these are third-party apps that i've put in here that are great um yeah yeah, it's just it's a regular Android uh, smartwatch in a rectangular format, Tickris Max S class. Okay, then you've got this um, Rogbid Air. This is a new one. Just reviewed this one. I kept the charger on it to show you. It's an odd five-pin magnetic charger. Usually they're four, and it also is a basic Android smartwatch. You've got all of your calling stuff, blood oxygen, heart rate. This is using Android 9 technology. Some of these are Android 7.1. I keep this one on something other than the watch face because it, it always will uh, fly off of there uh, and turn off for some reason. I set it for five minutes. It's maximum, but it it's just turning off immediately. These others are all set right now for 30-minute uh, timing so I can out-talk them. Yeah. Okay. We are, are talking about this one. Come on back to me to the watch face. Um and it's with Android 9 has uh, the red diode technology in the back when you're doing blood oxygen readings. It'll actually pick up and use that, which is more advanced. Uh, Android 9, Android 10 watches are the newest state of the art, and they're coming in most of these in 2021. Some of the older 2020 ones are still Android 7. So we have this one, and that kind of rounds out the square ones. Let's take a look now at the round ones. I'll talk about these three first because they are like the best you can look for for photography. If you're going to be using these watches for uh, taking either selfies or landscape pictures. These two in particular, the Prime 2, which also has uh, other models by um, different names by different companies and the Cospet Optimus 2 and this is the only one on the market like that these are the best ones camera wise because they have a rotating top camera here a little module you can twist to make it into a selfie oops I actually activated this one and uh, this one has a flash in it now these cameras are 13 megapixel cameras. They're the best of the best on the market for smart watches. And because they rotate, they will take landscape ones outward or, or selfie ones forward at that high resolution with the built-in cameras. The Prime 2 and all the others in this class or the Optimus 2. Again, check uh, the reviews for these. Another way you can get to any of these reviews, it's easy. Just go to smartwatchticks.com. That's our homepage. 
Uh, subscribe if you want to or hit cancel on the screen if you don't. When you get to the main screen, look for the little magnifying glass and just type in the name of the watch, Optimus 2, and um, it will bring up the reviews for you right away. Also, you'll notice there's playlists there. There's a whole playlist section with a button. You can tap on that and look at all Android 10 watches, all Android 9, or all Android 7. They're already set up for you as well. This puppy is a Domino DT28. It's also known as a Lempho LEM13. And it's, uh, I just wanted to show it to you as kind of a funky watch. When you have it on your wrist, I'm just going to leave the wire on, it, it locks down into this case, but you can click it and pull it and bring it up. And it has a camera here. Oh, and it just went into it. And it has a back camera right there. So you can bring it up and twist it, and you can see and take pictures on your arm looking forward you see that right there or switch it to selfie and take pictures uh you know with it that way as well camera comes on instantly as you lift the thing up and it's a very unique fun one if you want something playful kids love it you notice the bands on these these are not the stock bands that came with it this is this is typical of a band that comes with these watches but these are removable replacement bands. They're from Straps Co. I'll have a link for you for them too. They are a great strap company and they bring to the the table straps that make these things look really sporty, dressy, um, unique. This one I like is like an auto race car driver's watch and integrates really well with the large watch. So you can pick up a strap at the same time for a stocking stuffer if that's your thing when you get a watch. Now, for those of you who are still here, congratulations. Uh, now it's going to get deep. Uh, we're going to get more complicated, and it's not in the outward appearance as much as it is internally what's going on in these watches to help you decide which 1.6 inch diameter round watch you want. If you don't want 1.6 inch round, pretty much we're done. Uh, go back to the beginning of this video and check out the square ones, the large round ones um, because those are the ones that are available on the market everything else falls in this category for 2020 into 2021 earlier and maybe on ebay you can pick up some of the amoled screen android watches that were 1.4 inches diameter these are ips uh, screens at 1.6 and they're all the same screen really um, but they're different features so we're going to begin with the one I'm holding in my hand this was the launch of a revolutionary new type of smartwatch with a top camera on it it's called the genesis and a genius american pilot flying back and forth between america and china said why the heck do they always have the cameras on the side where your hand gets in the way and designed and hired a company in china to create a watch with a top facing camera and this would have been a runaway success except COVID broke out right when it came to market, and we all know where everything went from there. But the design was not lost on China. By the way, this is no longer available. A heck of a collector's item if you, if you can find it. It's the uh, um, Kronos Blade um, Genesis smartwatch. The design itself, though, was picked up by a company, and I'm not even sure which one because all of these brands, they call them, came out with exactly the same body in a watch that has a top-facing camera on it. And they made it a little bit smaller and uh, sandwiched it right in here. They took the bump from the left-hand side, which really was the best place, and moved it over to the right. It's okay. It's just that your finger gets in the way when you're doing something and you're taking a selfie. But nonetheless, they made this design. All of the watches you see in this pile are exactly this design. And it's a top-facing camera. You just looked at the ones that that had um, cameras on it before and this is the one that I would really recommend if you don't want the one of the flip kind that we saw the two big ones with the flipping camera this is designed to take a picture in the correct way you look at it and it shoots out that way so you could get yourself an LEMP that's a Lympho LEMP or 
a Domino DM30, that's this one right here. Domino, by the way, is the company that makes this. So this is the original from the original company. The firmware, the software inside is pretty much the same. I got a notification, one not red, but that's all right. Here we go with the Prime S. Okay, this is Cospet Prime S. So what's the difference why would you want one over the other other than price well it's because are you ready we're going to go deeper now inside the watch to the storage and memory the prime s one gigabyte of ram 16 gigabyte of storage the dm30 now the original company manufacturing this four gigabytes of ram and 64 gigabytes of storage that's like four times and that's really what you need to have smooth operation and enough storage to run multiple apps and put them in your device along with music and video and whatever you want the lemp limfo came out with two versions now these have the unique name associated with the memory amount but the lemp you can order it as the 116 or the 464 all in all they're basically the same watch and they have one interesting thing that these others haven't had really and that's when you come down here you've got a special system mode that can switch between android and light mode or a called sports mode on some of these watches why would you want that because you can get longer battery life if you don't need all of the functions of android you can go into a stripped down mode it's basically the same thing it just shuts off a lot of stuff some of your uh, engines and motors and and uh, gps is still available for tracking your step count and activities the sensors are still working for heart rate and whatnot but you get better and longer battery life out of these with this special mode switch and that's coming in this version of the watch that has the uh, camera on the top oh but wait there's more we've covered the factors of size and shape and battery more or less the bigger the better and the special modes can extend it even longer through power management and we've looked at the cameras and the different camera modules with the best being 13 megapixels the others i didn't go into detail but you'll see them in the review they're anywhere from two to five to eight and some of them are true and some of them are what's called up interpolated so a five megapixel camera can take a picture that when you look at its size and multiply it out pretends to be an eight megapixel uh, sized picture uh, but it's really five megapixel camera it gets complicated if you don't need a camera on your watches then let's move on if you have an interest in this high capacity 13 megapixel camera but you want waterproofing in your watch oh no another factor waterproofing well let's just call it water resistance because none of them are waterproof guess what these fancy ones with the camera module are the worst at allowing water in when you look at the back of it you can't really see too easily in this light but right there is a ribbon cable that comes from the camera into the watch and it has to be flexible to move in and out and there's a gaping hole right there that water could get into so the least waterproof watches are our fancy flagship uh what's this one the optimus 2 the one that i say is the best one on the market as long as you don't need a watch that's gonna uh, get wet and the prime 2 the best cameras the least waterproof watches you got that there's nothing for everybody but there's something for people who can decide what's important to them when you get into these guys well let's take a look first of all they attempted uh to do some some waterproofing by well putting it pretty good backing on it but you do have a snap off cover for putting the sim card in and if you don't get that in just yeah these are not really that waterproof here this is that um genesis but look at this when they moved into here they got much better it's an all sealed back for the prime s dm30 and lemp all of these guys are better at water resistance how much ip60 67 this is like a 65 or 66 i would say i keep touching it and making it do things the um 
These are probably, I went into the camera mode, there we go. Eh, these are probably, I'd say IP67, maybe. Definitely, as we move along into this sit, uh, set here, you're going to get into the much higher waterproof IP68 style. This was the original um, ROGBID Brave. Yep, another company, ROGBID. Uh, also, the Roll Me S08. Two brands we hadn't heard about, but it was made by a third different company, this particular body. And look at this. It's really put together well. So well that you had to have a special little machine to go in here to twist this to put the SIM card in. Didn't sell really well because of that. But the basic design got improved upon, and Lympho came out with the Lympho LEM14. Look at this, exactly the same body, everything. Yeah, they've protected the inside where the speaker is and the microphone and all of that stuff. And on the back of this one, they put screws in, made it a whole lot easier for the customer to get inside of here. This you had to push, twist, and pop it out, and the gas, it was a mess. But it worked, as long as you didn't go in there, or if you did, you were really, really careful. That's where the SIM card in is. That's, that's one of the major places where we always have problems with water intrusion. These, neither of these is on. Well, that one is, I guess. But anyway, Lympho LEM14, a definite upgrade to one of the first water proof mm, using that lightly water definitely strong water resistant how strong in the video review of the original brave you'll see them diving to 50 feet underwater and it worked they brought it up and it was still running so it's uh that would make it five atm but they didn't actually market it that way because if it didn't work exactly that way they'd have a lot of returns and as it was because of consumer misalignment it was a problem if he got that one wet in came an upgrade from the LEM14 to the LEM15. Let's look at these two now side by side. Same size screen, right? Camera in the front is looking this way. The side camera here, no, it's not at the top, guys. Don't sweat it. You don't need it if you're not going to get into photography, but you want a good solid waterproof watch on the back of this. Yeah. His, this is like the, the, the 14, right, which is like the Brave and the SO8 and all of that. And now it's like chromatically sealed and really shiny. It's great. Really, really good solid watch. This should be uh, excellent water protection. They don't really talk about it as much, though. So we're waiting for one of you guys out there to grab one and jump in the pool with it and see how well it works uh this is the lem 15 upgrade from the 14 and also known as the lock mat yes there's another company lock mat roll me uh it's on ellen uh lympho uh cospet this is the uh lock mat app llp4 you saw some of the square watches like the max and the max s they make the round one that's comparable to the lem15 all from the same company that makes this body which is a different body than this body but sold by different brands and we are pretty much caught up with where we are in terms of waterproof watches either of these will work lem14 lem15 or the derivatives are solidly built and good for waterproofing waterproofing ain't your gig okay how about internal storage the lem15 differs from the 14 all of these here differ from all of these here in terms of the storage inside they can come in a variety of configurations but this is the first to push it to 128 gigabytes of onboard storage i know you a lot of you guys complain that I shake the darn watches. I'm really trying hard to hold them still. Now we're moving into 4 gigabytes of RAM and up to 128 gigabytes of storage. You saw at least one of the Square watches had this configuration of memory, right? We're also playing back and forth here. I didn't even go into that. Between Android 9 and Android 10, none of these are Android 7. Uh, they've gone by the wayside, but the Android 9... 
I have a little bit of uh, growth ahead of them or configuration improvements. They're not as stable and sometimes they give you problems with the screen going off and some of your apps stop running and you don't get notifications. It's uh, They're working on it. Some of them have been solved, some haven't, but the Android 10 is doing a whole lot better. In fact, this particular firmware that you're looking at here is a, a, a specialized firmware improvement on the, the firmware that comes stock in these watches the full Android watch crew if you really want to learn and go really really deep go to fullandroidwatch.org okay and uh, check out any of the, uh, the uh, brand versions here there's threads on all of them and you'll learn about some very much improved uh, international firmware that can be put on a select uh, grouping of some of these watches of which I'm pretty sure the LEM 15 is one of them and several of the others too as we move on we we've covered the memory and storage inside and what an issue that is for you price price is going to be really low for the ones that have only one gigabyte of RAM and they've been pushing hard to get it under a hundred dollars a couple of these have come out under a hundred bucks. I got links for you that, uh, that that had that. They may still have it come up to the holiday uh, time, but one gigabyte is going to be pretty limited elbow room for it to run properly. If you can afford the extra 50, 60, 70 dollars, I know it's a big differential to get the four gigabytes of RAM and at least 64, if not 128 gigabytes of storage. Uh, and three gigabytes for these 364 or 4 128 um, it's worth it because well if it's a, a watch you're investing in it's going to give you better performance overall the lock mat app llp um, uh, four yeah is is the same basic watch as the lem 15 so you can price shop between the brands um, to get your best deal as long as you've zeroed in on what it is that you want and what's over here what's hanging off on the edge well this just represents one of a few different ones that don't fit anywhere this is z blaze they made a whole bunch of watches if you remember this is version six of their thor series and it's an android 10 watch and it's sweet and it's got the camera there and here and it's got a whole different kind of a bezel design and it's just yet another one you can look at it's got one of those straps co bands on it and it's really an attractive or uh, different kind of a look so you may want to just look at the look and just go with any android watch that meets something that you think looks really cool because that will uh, pretty much have everything you need as long as you don't take it underwater and you got enough ram and so forth um, there's a blitz wolf watch out that's an android 7 one there's a couple of stragglers android 7 if you want to go back and catch those and if you can find on eBay or one of the other places the old Android 5 watches, in particular, check out the Limfo LEM4. It's a rectangular watch, smaller than the ones we just showed you early at the beginning of this video. Android 5.1, it would do Bluetooth calling. It's one of the old, old ones that would actually Bluetooth tether to your phone and make and receive phone calls on your arm from your phone. None of these do that. After Android 5, they stopped it. Uh, I don't know why, but you have to have a SIM card in all of these. You won't be able to buy any Android 5 watch on the open market right now. It'll be a third party after uh, sale. And check that the battery still works because they're not really easily replaceable. Before you get it, make sure that it's got some life in it. And now here we are in 2022. Um, what you're about to see are the eight watches that have been released this year from Android 9, 10, and 11, all meshed together alphabetically, the little quick reviews about two minutes each. As far as the Android levels go, I really miss Android 7. Android 10 is the only one that I consider worthy because the full Android watch crew have been able to work with that to improvement. Uh, Android 9, kind of gimmicky, kind of funny. That's where you're getting your blood oxygen and, and last night's sleep time and stuff like that starting to appear. But it's a kind of funky uh, OS with a, a few bugs in it. And Android 11, mm, work in progress. There's a lot of issues with Android 11, but it has the potential of getting better. So your choice, uh, here they are. All of the ones you see coming up 
are available and the ones you just saw some are available and some maybe not but use the actual review uh, video and the show notes uh, the links will be in there and that can uh, route you over to find out if they're still available or not same with these all right enjoy this is the Air One Android 9 smartwatch. It comes in configurations of 32 gigabytes with 3 gigabytes of RAM and 4 gigabytes of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage. You've got all your typical controls, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, location, uh, services, do not disturb. Your brightness is all on here. And of course, cellular connectivity. Notifications sent from your phone show up there. Down here, you got weather in your area when you're tethered to the server. You've got music that will play from the uh, storage in your watch and you've got your step count information that updates every day. In terms of your apps, they are all here and your fitness activities are here. These do indeed integrate with GPS for your running, walking, and uh, biking. You've got phone contacts and SMS that relate to the SIM card that you insert. There's no Bluetooth calling, of course, on this one or any Android watches. Your overall settings. Now you have heart rate as well as blood oxygen, last night's sleep time information, which will give you a beautiful chart as well as a score and your breakdown. Really nice job implementing that. A breath training, inhale, exhale type of an app basic browser, a camera in the front, 2 megapixel for selfies and video conferencing, and a 5 megapixel on the side, calendar, alarm clock, music, everything is typical standard Android stuff in this one. Google Play Store, the Watch Face Store with a variety of different faces now available on the server that are being updated regularly, including some really sweet anime type. Uh, they're available now. Um, even Face Unlock, which works on this with the front-facing camera to keep it secure if you want to. Very, very nice rubberized, really stretchy band on this one. Two buttons. The camera there, the speaker here, the microphone there, solidly well built. It calls it lifetime uh, waterproof. To me, it looks like it ought to be submergible. I'm not sure, but uh, uh, definitely don't dunk it in water until we know for sure. It's a really nice smartwatch. It's uh, Android 9 again, and it's called the Air 1. This is the APP LLP4 Pro, one of the very first Android 11 based Android smartwatches. Lots of controls here. You have Do Not Disturb, your overall brightness, location, Wi Fi, and Bluetooth, as well as airplane mode and cellular. Yeah, you got this special system mode for longer power if you switch from 4G mode to sports mode, which restricts what you can do with the watch. You also have a little cleanup display right there. When you go this way, you get notifications pushed from your phone. You've got your step count for the day, a music player, and overall weather in your area once you're connected to the internet can download your location. Here is your app drawer with your phone contacts and messages from the SIM card you install in here. It'll do a 4G SIM. Settings is overall Android 11 and you have heart rate, blood oxygen, last night's sleep time, and breath training. All new biometric activities to Android watches. The basic browser. Two cameras, one in the front, one on the side, the gallery to see your pictures. you got a basic calendar, alarm clock, the music player, a little voice recorder built into it, overall file manager to move things around. You've got 6 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage in this model. Weather in your area, the overall fitness, which you can tie to GPS built into the watch as well, so you can see your tracks. Overall desktop settings, themes, all the Google stuff you want, your standard basic Google, the Google Play Store to install uh, third-party apps, and of course it includes Google Maps as well. Show you exactly where you are. Yeah, optimization for the phone or for the watch, an overall watch face store for the different faces that you can install. You got an app store that'll install a few fun things like a flashlight. We'll show you that in a second. A uh, assistant. This is where you tie into the Gal Fit tethering app. Transfer all your data over. This does not come with it, but it's side loaded, which means you can connect it to your computer and put APKs or applications 
into the device. This is not in the Google Play Store, but if you check my listings, you'll find out how to get a hold of it. This is the flashlight that I said you could download. And just to show you a simple little thing, you can turn it on and off right here. That comes with the watch, of course, as well. In the last section here, you've got your fitness activities. You can select any of these that you'd like to engage in, jump into it, and get started getting fit. All in all, it's a really nice watch. You've got, uh, like I said, multiple watch faces. It's relatively thin compared to some of the previous editions. Nicely sealed speaker, microphone all over on it. A nice rubberized band. It is the APP LLP 4 Pro Android 11 smartwatch. This is the APP LLP 6 Android standalone smartwatch phone with a separate watch module for landscape and forward-facing photography. Appears to be a full 13 megapixel camera on this one. You've got all your standard Android uh, capabilities in here. Works with the SIM card. No Bluetooth calling, of course notifications from your phone you've got your step count information and you've got a variety of apps for calling messaging camera controls calendars clocks even a voice recorder in here you can lock this one you've got a breath sequence thing it'll do heart rate and blood oxygen no red diodes on it though google of course the play store to install any app you like maps and i've put in a few of my own apps in here that are just kind of fun like koi pond that you can play with you can do the circle or square display simple as changing it right there it's a really ruggedized watch it's got a heavy duty band comes in green or black and thick charger sim card i don't know all kinds of buttons and sensors on this one it's a heavy duty watch it's the app llp6 this is the app llp7 android standalone smartwatch phone running android 9.1 you've got your bluetooth connection to the phone power level and sim card capability which you can put a nano sim in here with its own phone number get calling and texting and everything you've got step count for the day you've got music player built into this one this particular unit has 128 gigabytes of storage capability and four gigabytes of uh of ram you've got weather in your area when you've got it synced up and you've got notifications sent from your phone when that's all paired as well coming down this way you got all these other controls like brightness and location services and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and cellular and airplane. Oh, it just goes on and on and on. Over here, you got the app drawer, and then you've got all of your different workout uh, activities that you can start once you've got the fitness app all set up. Speaking of which, we'll get to that. Phone, contacts, SMS, work with the SIM card. No Bluetooth calling with this. you got overall settings. We go into detail in the full app review we've got a uh, heart rate you now have blood oxygen last night's sleep time including check this out a little chart that shows you your sleep condition breath training all kinds of good things you've got camera five megapixel on the side only one camera on this particular watch and uh, a voice recorder if you want weather in your area and as i mentioned fitness and inside fitness you got all of the things you had before including the ability to see what you've already done and drill down into a historical track of where you've been on a google map really nice when it's integrated and set up with the gps on board you have um different themes of course the google play store optimization an assistant that lets you tie into your phone and transfer the data over and other apps that you can add directly from this little app store which is different than the play store that uh, enhance the overall functionality of this particular watch comes with this really nice tpu band and uh removable it's got the sensors for blood oxygen that are red and green ones for um, heart rate and black and gold are available it's a really sweet sophisticated nice looking dress watch it's the app llp 7 
This is the Rogbid Brave 3 Android standalone smartwatch phone. Oh my goodness, whole new watch faces in this one, whole new design. Look at this, nano sim on the side, camera here, camera there, buttons, oh, all over the place. You got all these different controls here. You've seen these before, what you can control. You have your... Uh, your power level, your Bluetooth connection, your SIM card connection, the time, all of that's in here. You can change it from the full-on 4G mode to a low-powered uh, system mode. You've got a cleanup for all of your apps in the background. Standard stuff. Down here, you got your step count information. You've got a music player. One more swipe, and you got the weather overall in your area as well. When you swipe this way, you get notifications sent to you from your phone, and love it. When you swipe this way, here's your app drawer, all the different things, your phone, contacts, SMS, all of that related to the SIM card that you put in. No Bluetooth calling with this one, but it's a standalone phone. Your settings, you got heart rate, blood oxygen, last night's sleep time is all in here as well. And you get all of the charts. Yeah, yeah, you got all of that stuff. Breath training. Here's some settings that you got. You got an overall basic browser, but of course with Google, you can install Chrome browser or any of the others you've got camera that you can switch from forward facing to the side gallery for all of your pictures calendar alarm clocks music recorder film of uh, your files over here you get your fitness information all the different activities that you can uh, take part in and of course you got more stuff down here as well you got optimization so you can really make sure you're honing in and getting the best battery life a specialized little app store and of course watch faces that you can download from a special server that they have with Faces designed specifically for the layout of this watch. Gmail on here, Google, uh, face unlock capability on it, Google Fit. You can even install Maps Go if you want to. And these are some third party apps I've put in here, like the fun little Koi Fish. All of this are standard stock Android stuff. Yep, it's a full on Android watch running uh, Android 9.1, 4 gigabytes of, of, of operating RAM and about 64 gigabytes of storage. Available right now, it's called the Brave 3. This Android 9.1 smartwatch is known as King from Rogbid, and it's a doozy. It's got 4 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, probably more than your phone. You got Do Not Disturb, Change Your Brightness, Airplane Mode, Cellular Communication. Sure enough, you put a SIM card, 4G in here. You can do calling and data transfer. You got Bluetooth and, and Wi-Fi and location services with GPS. GPS, GPS is built into it, all kinds of good things. Over here, you can get into all different activities in your apps, and one more swipe gets you into your um, running and exercising. You have uh, all types of different things, jumping rope, and tied in with GPS so that you can get a track on your activities as well. You also have over here messages sent from your phone and down this direction you have your daily step count information, a music player, and one more swipe gets you to weather in your area. In terms of installed apps you've got phone contacts and SMS related to the SIM card for making and receiving calls and texts. Overall settings, this watch now, Android, has hard heart rate and blood oxygen reading built into it using the red diode technology. You can wear it to, to bed and get last night's sleep time, do breath training. It's really an enhancement in all of the biometrics uh, aspects of it. You've got an uh, installed browser, the two cameras on here, of course gallery to see your pictures, calendars, alarm clocks, a music player that can play any of your 128 gigabytes, and of course you can install third-party apps with the Google Play Store, like YouTube and others that you can play videos on. You got a uh, voice recorder, file manager, weather, overall optimization, watch faces that you can add, extra apps, there's your fitness again. It just goes on and on. In terms of uh, Google support, everything's here. You've got maps if you want to. You've got all kinds of different uh, Google integration. You can put the Chrome browser on here and sync it up with your phone and your computer. Beautiful watch. 
It comes with a leather-looking band on it with rubberized back. Hot and sweaty person <laughs> wearing it. Uh, charging connector here, and the diodes, of course, are right here. Again, it's a uh, Android 9.1 smartwatch. Variety of watch faces available, and it's um, a sweet deal. This is the LEM16 Android 11 smartwatch. It's got all the standard controls for turning on your um, location surfaces, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplane mode, do not disturb, and an overall brightness that can go pretty decently bright and very, very soft for nighttime use. You have, in addition to this, your ability to change to uh, a special battery power savings modes that disables all the basic apps except for your workout information and your heart health. You've got a clear everything little control for memory management and you have a status of your power level, your SIM card, and uh, your Bluetooth connection on here as well. Here you got messages sent from your phone, and this way you've got your step count information, a, re a music player for music you install on the watch, and weather in your area. Speaking of which, we have 128 gigabytes of storage on this and 6 gigabytes of working RAM uh, for, for the watch, which is huge. Here you got your app drawer, and then of course over here you got all your workout uh, activities that you can do. When you're in the uh, app drawer, you have access to phone contacts and SIM uh, or SMS that are using the SIM card you install in this. It's a standalone watch. It does not tether to your phone for calls. Um, you have overall settings, heart rate, blood oxygen, and breath training, along with last night's sleep time, are supported on the watch and passed to the GowFit tethering app. Basic browser, you got two cameras, a front one which is low resolution for just basic video calling, and a higher resolution camera on the side for taking pictures. But not the highest resolution, mind you, it's okay. Gallery to see your images, you got calendars and uh you got alarm clocks, and there's the music player again, a ba basic voice recorder, weather in your area. There's the fitness app, which is very similar to what you saw when we swiped to the end. Themes and desktop stuff. You have access to Google, of course. The Google Play Store is in here. Google Maps. Optimization to help improve your battery life. Watch Face Store, where you can download a variety of faces. And uh, the assistant is letting you do all of the stuff, to the tethering app on your phone. You have a good selection of installed watch faces that you can access simply by pressing and holding. And you can go through these, check them all out. Uh, we do that in the full review. And you can download faces, like I said, and I've added one from the download right here. It's a... Good sized watch. This is kind of standard by today's features, a 1.6 inch uh, watch. It's relatively thick because you need a 900 milliamp hour battery in here. The SIM slot's been relocated to the top and um, it's not dunkable uh, waterproof as far as I can tell, uh, but it should be definitely splash resistant as the speaker's been moved over to the side and uh, you don't have too many places where water could get into it. Comes with a rubberized band and uh, you can get an optional uh, little puck that goes with it, a power bank uh, for about 20 bucks more. All in all, it's a, a decent Android 11 smartwatch, the newest one on the market. It's the LEM 16. This is the Panda. It's an Android smartwatch phone with two different configurations. You've got the basic that comes with three gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Notifications sent from your phone over here. You've got the Panda Pro, which you're looking at right here, that includes the four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage for all the music and videos you want to put on here. You have weather, music, step count information, and over here you've got your app drawer and your fitness. And they've added a couple of new ones on here, skiing and mountaineering. In terms of apps, there's a couple of additional ones that you'll find, along with all of the stock ones that we've seen before. Because this is 
a waterproof watch. Yep, you can go swimming with this one. It has a barometer in it and it has something called dive, a dive function in it. There's the barometer and a dive function with outdoor, indoor diving. You can get in here, get GPS, hookup, heart rate, and your current pressure and depth underwater, supposedly, with this fully waterproof watch. It's a really big one. It's got a 1600 milliamp hour battery in that thick body for the Android 10 version. Android 7 version comes with a 1300 milliamp hour battery. Speaker over here, microphone over here, SIM card goes in here, and one button turns it on. It's the Panda and Panda Pro. All right, there you have it, gang. The full entourage of 2021 slash 2022 complement of full standalone Android smartwatch phone devices that you can wear on your wrist, put in a SIM card, and use as literally a standalone phone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon, and happy holidays.